Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, Nick. And we are here with a stream. We're doing a D live stream. We're going to be watching a little MTV. Wow, it's been a long time since I watched MTV. Just as soon as we can find a link, you probably know what's going on. Uh, if not, there was an MTV special that debuted about me tonight. Uh, would it be about 80 minutes ago? And uh, <laughs> I'm waiting for somebody to upload it so we can watch it. So I think it'll take like um, 20 minutes or something. 20 minutes or so. <laughs> How's my volume? It looks like I'm a little quiet. Is that just me or am I quiet? Lower this a little bit. Let me know how audio is. Let me know if you can hear the music. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Um, but let me just pull up my DMs, make sure we got that going. Turn mic up, kind of quiet. I'm all the way up, so there's really not, yeah, I'm all the way up, so there's not much I could do about it. Test, test. I'll just try to talk louder. I will just try to talk louder. Music seems to be a little quiet. I'll boost that a little bit. Test, test. Let me know how that is. Let me know how that works for you. Can't hear you. Can't hear you, but the music is a bit quiet. Okay. I boosted it a little bit. Okay. Bye. Degenerate. Highly optical sweater. Love it, big guy. Yeah, thanks. Just came in the mail today. Sweatshirt drip department. Yeah, thanks. Audio's perfect, King. Thanks. So, like I said, I'm trying to find... Do they have a description for this show that just was on? I'll do shows A to Z. What would it be? MTV Pres... I think I was just here, though. MTV Specials presents White Supremacy Destroyed My Life. Well, just to fill you in on it. So... MTV posts this. They say, we're investigating racism in a new documentary special, White Supremacy Destroyed My Life. Former KKK member Shane Johnson talked to right-wing YouTuber Nick Fuentes about how white supremacists use white pride to attack racial minorities. Watch tonight at 10 o'clock, which I find so ironic because, um, hello, Mexican check. Shane Johnson, some white KKK member, is going to explain to me and Hispanic and Hispanic male teenager at the time about how white supremacists are using white fry to attack racial minorities. Bro, you're attacking me. I'm a racial minority. Anyway, to give you a little bit of the background, I'll just go through this Twitter thread really quickly. I explained sort of where this came from. I said, in February 2018, a production company called Carga 7 reached out and said they were interested in filming an episode of MTV True Life about me and my show. They spent a full week filming at my house, but never released any of the footage until tonight, almost two years later. A guy named Pete Ritchie and his boss, Jason Wolf, pitched an episode to me for the reboot of MTV True Life about young political activists, which would feature me as a young conservative and an unnamed young liberal. Initially, I turned them down. So, whoops. This is Pete Ritchie. Uh, and here you can see, where is he? Co-executive producer, MTV True Life with Viacom. January. So notice all, like, I saw some people are saying, oh, Nick says this. January 2018, April 2018. You know, so the, the time window or the time frame fits up. February 2018 is when they filmed it. So Pete Ritchie worked on this project. That's Pete Ritchie. And then you've got Jason Wolf. Jason Wolf joined Cargo in 15, blah, blah, blah. This is uh, Jason Wolf, by the way. If anybody was curious what he looks like, this is Jason Wolf. This is the guy that deceived me. This is the guy who works in media that deceived me and lied about me and uh, wants to attack white people. Very interesting. So it says a guy named P. Ritchie and his boss, Jason Wolf, pitch an episode to me. And this is what happened. They emailed me back in like January or February of 2018, so almost two years ago. And they said, hey, we want to shoot an episode of MTV True Life. They were rebooting the series. It's an old series, but they were rebooting it, calling it MTV Now. 
And they said that all these different production companies were contracted by MTV, each to produce, or by Viacom, each to produce their own, like, show. And all these different production companies made their own show about, you know, their own MTV True Life episode. And a few of them actually aired. If I can, I think I might be able to look it up. Let's see, just to show you. Um, would it be under T? True Life, yeah, True Life Now is the reboot. And yeah, if you see, uh, they started airing these episodes in January of this year. Avenging Revenge Porn. Obsessed with looking like a Snapchat filter. Obsessed with the perfect booty. Obsessed with being a Kardashian, you know? So they started airing the series this year. And they came to me and they said, we want an episode about you. And we'll have, it's about teenage political activists in the age of Trump. You'll be the young conservative. We'll bring on a young liberal. And they said, we're going to try and make you look good. We're going to try and make you look human, go over your day-to-day life, you know, make you sympathetic. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, actually, no. Pete emailed me later that week and offered me. An, so I said, I turned them down. Pete emailed me later that week and offered me a number of assurances that MTV would portray me in a good light and I would have some control or oversight over what was broadcast. After much consideration, I reluctantly agreed to participate in the show. And here's the email. Pete Ritchie says, Hey, Nick, I totally understand where you're coming from. Your family should always come first. But I've been thinking about this all weekend. I believe there may be a way to tell your story, by the way, January 28, 2018, in a way that we also make sure your family and safety comes first. Do you have 10 minutes to hop on hop on Skype tomorrow to hear me out? Totally get that the answer still might be no, but as I said, I think you're an amazing talent and clearly going somewhere, and I'd hate for you to pass up an opportunity like this without us talking through all options. Thanks, Pete. This is what we're dealing with here. These, this is a level of deception. You're an amazing talent. You're clearly going somewhere. I'd hate for you to pass up an opportunity like this I reluctantly agreed. Pete and a team from Carga 7 came to my house and filmed for a week, doing hours of interviews, B-roll. They filmed me doing my show, and they covered my periscope of anti of an anti-gun rally in Chicago. This is what my mother texted to Pete Ritchie at the end of the shoot. Pete Ritchie says, It was a pleasure meeting all of you. There's a group text. February 12, 2018. It was a pleasure meeting you all in person, especially Al. I'll see you at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Same, Pete. This is my mom. You seem like a genuine person. We are relieved. See you then. Promise Al will be in boarding school. That's my dog. He was kind of misbehaving. This is what we're dealing with here, okay? So they come. They shoot for a week. And they showed... Them, they showed... They shot hours of footage. Hours of interviews. Interviews here. We went to a hotel and filmed interviews. They filmed me an interview in my car. They filmed me an interview at my school. They filmed me an interview at my other desk over there. They filmed me in... Uh, you know, around my house, they filmed me in my bedroom, not like doing bedroom things, but like, you know, hey, just trying to get a change of scenery, so they filmed me for hours, just for context, I said, uh, Jason Wolf followed up and said, the MTV True Life episode aired on February 20th, the air day was pushed back several times until it was put off indefinitely, and needless to say, the episode never aired, but the footage from the shoot will premiere tonight, that happened tonight, here's Jason Wolf says, wanted to reach out with some updates on the program. MTV has finally set an air date, February 20th, although that still could shift by a week or two. Wanted to give you the most up-to-date information as I had it. Let me know if there are any questions I can answer. If you prefer to hop on the phone, hop on the phone with me and discuss. Hope you have a good holidays. Thanks. And this is where we arrive to tonight. I say almost two years after a shoot for an episode of True Life, MTV has repackaged the footage into a mini-documentary about white supremacy which attempts to portray me as a spiritual successor to this low-IQ skinhead buffoon, conveniently right after Groiper Wars. And this is this clip. I said, at the time of the shoot, I was 19 years old and had only been doing my show for a year. I initially declined to do the show because I knew Jason Wolf and the media would not be kind to me, but I never imagined a farce like this. Obviously, I made a big mistake. This just goes to show how unscrupulous, vindictive, and evil the media is. They take deception to another level. MTV sat on this footage for two years only to dump it after the Groiper Wars in a naked and obvious attempt at character assassination. It won't work. Fuck the media. And that's sort of where we are tonight. And we're going to watch and review the show. Just as soon as I get a link, just as soon as I get a link to the show (laughs) from 
Groiper Jew said he would upload it for me, so I'm waiting on a link from him. Otherwise, I'll have to find something else. But that's where we're at tonight. And, uh, you know, I watched it. It wasn't that bad, honestly. Because you know it was supposed to be a hit job. The point of this was to say, it was to say, here's this rising star, Nick Fuentes, and we're just going to pile on more shit. Here's why he's actually a villain. Here's actually why he's a bad guy, whatever. And I watched the thing, and it totally flopped because I didn't even say anything wrong. I didn't even say anything that was that offensive. <laughs> Once we get our link, we'll be, I'll be able to clarify all that. But, um, but this is who we're, I mean, this is who these people are. I'll actually read to you. I'll read you an email that my mom, I don't have it uh, to pull up on the screen, but I'll read you an email that my mom sent to uh, Jason Wolf and to Pete Ritchie this, this week or last week after this came back. My mom emailed them because I think it sums it up nicely. She said, hello, everyone. We were able to look at the listing for the documentary you filmed and see that it is titled White Supremacy Ruined My Life. I want to begin by expressing how utterly stunned I am that you intentionally deceived my family about what the purpose of your filming was. You indicated that it was to be a true life episode covering a far left, moderate, and a far right young person. You had also claimed that you wanted to film Nicholas doing everyday things so people could see a different perspective of him. After speaking with Jason, I realized that the scenes you selected will clearly depict him in a negative light and that this project does not even resemble what you had presented to us. Additionally, we would never have agreed to any of this if we had known it would be about white supremacists. Nicholas is not a white supremacist and neither are we. I will consult with an attorney, but I'm certain you have covered your bases and will not allow any, or rather we will not have any legal recourse. I want to remind you, however, that life is not all about legal recourse and sensationalism for profit. We welcomed you into our home, took time off work, served snacks, and even baked your crew cookies for crying out loud. We did not deserve to be manipulated and deceived in this way, and God only knows what will be in store for our family after this airs. Shame on you is all that I can say in closing. We trusted you, and you took advantage of that. I'm sure it doesn't matter, but I feel so hurt and deceived. I believe most of you have children, and I hope you can imagine how you would feel if this was your son or your family. I don't want to hop on the phone as everything you have said in conversation to us has been a lie, including the title of the project, the angle, and even allowing us to view it before it aired, which is precisely why we have no recourse. We should have known better. Clearly, you did. I doubt you are Christian people, but if you don't believe in God, I hope you believe in karma. This was all very wrong. That was my mom's take. Obviously, she's upset, and, and rightfully so. I mean, nobody should be subject to this, obviously. I mean, these people are just its just straight-up evil. I mean, what it is. And I, look, I'm not trying to play the victim, but they've just exposed themselves, you know. I don't think it's going to hurt us in any capacity, but, I mean, these people are just, I mean, look at these people. This is the face of evil. Look at this guy. Look at this fucking guy. Look at this smug scum. That's rude in this guy too. This clown. LA trash. Fuck LA. Based mom check, yeah. I'm going to post that one. I'm going to post that email on Twitter right now. Cuz I think it'll be good content. It'll be good for people to see that. Cuz it's not right. And everybody knows it's not right. Bruh, come on, can't even get in my Yahoo account. Got to forward it from my phone on my Yahoo account to my thing on this one and blah, blah, blah. Here, just give me, give me a hot sec real quick. Yeah, I'll forward it to my Gmail, which I can get. All right, there we go. And I'll post this uh, email on Twitter so I can put it on the screen and we can read it. And I can, and other people can read it for ourselves too. Let me just. 
But yeah, I mean, isn't that so disgusting? And that's the media. That's what we're dealing with. They're fucking disgusting. These people are awful. Did it go through? Why didn't it go through? Maybe went to my junk. Well, it doesn't look like it did. Why didn't it go to my inbox? Major bra moment. There it is. Okay. All right. So I'll snip this and I will put this on Twitter. Mom, email. Right. <laughs> while we wait, while we wait together for this uh, video to upload, and then we can browse Twitter a little bit. I should probably edit some of this. I should probably edit one thing out of here. Let me see if I could open up and like, oh, you know what I can do? I know what I can do with this. Oh, it's a lot of fucking, hang on. Bear with me. We're gonna be we're gonna be doing content in no time. I promise you. I promise you that we're gonna be doing content soon. <laughs> Just as soon as this uh, thing uploads, then we'll be in good shape. But I'm gonna post this in the meantime. Well, it's not a really great way to fucking edit this. Hang on. I guess I'll have to edit in like paint or something. Ah, <sighs> man. Yeah, I know what I'll do. I guess. Oh, whoops. Can I undo that? Let me just, yeah, let's just edit this very briefly. There's one part that's a little doxy. I want to get that out. Ah, fuck! Damn it. I'm just like coloring like with white pen over the part that I want to, the very small part that I want to get out of there. Just because no docs, but I keep slipping.
pretty high pressure doing this on screen. You have no idea. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I did it. Saving, letting your ink dry, says Windows. Saving. All right, now I can post. Wait a second, why is this motherfucker? It's not even showing up right. What the fuck? I just edited this and now it's not showing up right. It said letting your ink dry. Well, where's the where's the new version of it? On God, I'm going to put a fucking hole in the wall. Oh, there it is. On God, there's going to be more. I swear there will be more holes in the wall. There will be more holes in the wall where that came from. Okay, let me just see how that looks. Okay, it looks good to me. Yeah, it's a pretty based email. I just posted it so I can pull it up on here. Super cozy. That's a pretty cozy stream. Oh, looks like we got a link. Or is Folk Salad just posting his... Uh, his er, no, I think that's the right link. Let me see. I can't... Oh, there we go. Let's see if we have it here. YouTube dot com slash paste do we have it <laughs> oh it's just folk salad yeah thanks folk salad for that how about is this the right one now classic can this instead i pull up the link <laughs> i think it's going to be the mtv thing and it's and it's kensney and it's folk salad by Alien Hominid HD. The Cruise. Prepare to die edition. Tech Rax destroys 6 million Nintendo Switches. Goku has just entered Super Saiyan Type 2 Diabetes. Travis Scott and Lil Yachty. Bath from buddies. Travis Scott having anal sex with Adam Conover be like, We ain't even make it to the room. Will the real humongous please stand up? I repeat, will the real humongous please stand up? Duel of the Fates. My mother's MasterCard versus the Crusader Kings 2 Conclave DLC. Count Dankula, the type of dude to play German marching songs during class. Nick Fuente hey. has to pick Ivor Kensley, Jake Lloyd, or Patrick Casey to be stranded with him on Penn Island. Who does he pick? <laughs> Juice World died to a overexposure Island, of Stanky Leg. Juice World died of Stinky Toe Disease. And my okay, favorite we <laughs> we have the MTV documentary. Okay, we got MTV queued up. Here we go. <clears throat> so here we go. We're locking in. It's officially on. I'm putting it out on Telegram. Let's see. I'll put it on. Well, I don't know if I'll put it on Twitter. I'll just put it on Telegram. All right, all right. We're strapped in. We're going to watch. Let's turn up the volume. Uh, excuse me. In deadly action. 
It contains real, uncensored examples of hate speech, which may be difficult to watch. Viewer discretion is advised. Look at this guy. MTV News presents Look, White get Supremacy a load of this guy. Destroyed My Life. Get a load of this MTV guy. A white gunman burst into the black congregation and opened fire. The only reason someone can shoot people praying is out of hate. Across the nation, racism is at a boiling point. We have to talk about the illegal immigrants. They kill American citizens who pay taxes. Wait, 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 wait. That jump cut was so obvious. Racism is at a boiling point. Wait, wait, point. watch this, watch this. We have to talk about the illegal immigrants. They <laughs> we have to talk about the illegal immigrants. So obviously edited. We're literally 35 seconds in. And it's me saying we have to talk about illegal immigrants. Juxtaposed with Charlottesville, synagogue shooting. Oh, yeah, that's a yeah, very honest presentation. Kill already. American citizens who pay taxes. The shit you're saying now is the same shit we said. You guys are wearing suits. We wore robes. That's so, we I'm so fucking sick of hearing that line. You wore suits. We wore robes. Yeah, not quite the same, actually. You're a fucking idiot. You know, you're just like a low IQ meth head. And we are actually paleo conservatives. Everybody knows that. Goes unchecked. It can lead to deadly consequences. What he took from me, I can't get it back. It was the hardest moment in our life. In an effort to change the future, I was really angry. Two families must confront the demons of their past. And your legacy's over, man. Will they ever find a way to overcome hate? But I don't think anybody that is racist can change. Maybe one day the good I do now will outweigh the bad I've done. Wow, it's really meaningful, really deep. First of all, first of all, you just have to love, this was supposed to be MTV True Life. They, t I just can't get over that. They told me they were filming an episode of MTV True Life, which is what I agreed to, where they said, you're an amazing talent. We're going to show you in a good light. This will be a great opportunity for you. It's supposed to be MTV True Life. This is what, and this is what it's about. It's like that uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm theme. White supremacy destroyed my life. Yeah, I would have agreed to participate in a documentary called White Supremacy Destroyed My Life, obviously, because I'm not a white supremacist. But, uh, yeah, and then they sat on it for two years on top of that. God, I'm like a tweaker. It's always scary whenever a car comes. If they come down through here, I know it's either they live here or they don't belong here. This is not a dangerous area at all, man. I mean, we live in the middle of nowhere. It's just the KKK is dangerous, and they definitely don't like me. Is this guy for real? From the day I was born. Dude, you're still working for the KKK. KKK is the federal government, bro. Like, oh, the KKK is going to find me here. Yeah, just flash your badge, big guy. I'm pretty sure they'll leave you alone. You know, KKK is going to drive over to his house. No, no, guys, it's cool. Here's my badge, you know, agent, uh, whatever, agent dipshit. Okay, well, oh, okay, we'll leave you alone. I was in the Ku Klux Klan. My dad was the Imperial Nighthawk of the Indiana White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, fat. He was an enforcer. His job was to protect the Imperial Wizard, which is the head guy. Growing up, it was his way or the highway. I didn't really know anything else. I mean, I remember going to cross lightings as far back as I remember. My dad, he wanted me to be a force to be reckoned with inside the white power movement. I should I probably, there, wait, man. wait, before we continue, I should probably X tag this. I'm going to use my discretion here. This documentary in particular. Just so I don't get in trouble. All right, let's resume. I lived in my own little world with people who believed exactly like we believe, except for Tiffany. We used to live in a trailer park right next door to each other. Ah, <laughs> uh, yikes. Yeah, you know, look, I don't really love the expression white trash, but uh, I don't know. I think everybody knows there's a big difference between this scene, <laughs> between this whole scene and what we're about, right? I came to my views because I read books. You know, because I read Pat Buchanan and 
Sam Francis. Not because my daddy was, you know, an enforcer and whatever. So, I don't like that expression. I think it's a nasty anti-white expression. But we do know, you know, the difference, right? And when I first saw him, it was like, wow, he has a lot of tattoos. But Bro, I can no. see this, this intelligence in Bro. him. Really no, cheesy, no, 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 no. The first time we talked, I was like, yeah, because one, one of these days he's going to be mine. So, like, I fell in love with him as soon as I seen him. Wow. I knew Shane and his family was in the clan and stuff, but I seen the better person inside of him. I just had to figure out a way to bring it out. These are magnetic cameras. Poor protection. It does make people think twice when they see them. We started introducing different things to his life. I introduced rap music to him because that's what I like. And like it just slowly started changing more and more and more. I started listening to rap music, but I would hear my dad saying I was betraying my race. And condemning me for what I was doing. Real hero. Real hero of the Imperium here. This is what, <laughs> right? He was calling the shots. Yeah, more and white was to make his father here. proud. And I did it. But then um, my dad died. I feel like I lost a part of me. But uh, at the same time, I felt relief. When he wasn't in my ear all the time, it really uh, gave me room to think for myself. After his dad passed away, eventually we sat down and talked about it, and I told him, you have to change. She just looked at me one day, and she's like, look, take control of yourself, or this is a waste of time. Something clicked, and that's when he started changing. And then I started learning about other ideologies. The story just doesn't add up. This is the same story that Christian Piccolini gave. It's like they were neo-Nazis their whole lives, and then they had a conversation, and they're like, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, you went from KKK to full-on shit lib, tool of the ADL, because, what, your girlfriend talked to you? Doesn't add up. Doesn't make any sense. These people are federal agents. I'm sure his father was a federal agent. I'm sure he is a federal agent. And that doesn't mean that these guys are, like, you know, wearing sunglasses and suits and anything like that. But it means that these are these guys are being paid by the federal government. These guys are either federal informants. They're serving some kind of a role. The government's probably got them by the balls. I think this guy has a record, right? What's his name? Shane. What is it? Shane something. Shane Johnson. Yeah, let's look him up. Let's look at his GoFundMe. How much you want to bet he's in jail? By his early 20s, Shane and his clan brothers were repeatedly getting in trouble with the law. Suddenly, Shane's father died. Oh, that's an interesting sort of confluence there. For the first time, he no longer enforced his son's thoughts and actions. Shane was now free to doubt, to question. After a drunken fight in a nearby town where the clan attacked innocent locals, Shane woke up in jail and realized if he continued on his path, he'd likely end up in prison. Around the same time, he met Tiffany, his girlfriend, da da da. That's very convenient. So, in other words, the government probably had him on, you know, some kind of terrorist charge or probably something that could have put him away for a long time. So, all these things just happen at the same time, right? Finds a girl, gets put in jail, wakes up in jail as part of a clan attack. Father dies. And we craft this narrative about, well, dad died, wasn't in my ear. I met this girlfriend. We had this conversation. Or is it probably more likely that you know, this guy was just a scumbag, this guy was a total fucking dirtbag like his dad, and he ended up in this organization, ended up in jail, and the feds probably came to him and said, look, you know, either we can throw the book at you, we'll throw you in jail for 20 years, or you can start to be an informant, or you can go into witness protection, you know, whatever, something like that. But to me, it seems like that is basically the play here. And that's exactly what happened to Christian Piccolini. It's the same story. Christian Piccolini says he was a neo-Nazi, and... Christian Piccolini founded the group that this guy works for. And then his friends got entrapped by the government in this, like, the, the feds pretended they were, like, the Libyan government and you know, tried to sell them weapons or something. And they got entrapped, and they got in big trouble. And Christian Piccolini said, oh, but he didn't get caught up in that. Just all of his friends did. He was smart enough to, I guess, just avoid that. But that's when he started to turn his life around. Oh, yeah, yeah, not a coincidence there, right? He's in police and... 
I started finding myself like really like just, just disgusting. I don't know how to explain you it. Still like, are um, disgusting. Shame. You went. You went from a fucking. You went from a scumbag. Unironic skinhead, which, by the way, we have never avowed. We've been against skinheads from the beginning. I even say at the end of the show, we have never been pro skinhead clan, anything like that. It's just like low rent, trashy. These people are either imbeciles or they're feds. We've never been about that, right? Oh, I, I just felt gross. Dude, you are gross. You went from that to being a shill for the ADL and the government. And then I see all this on my arms and my neck and it was like like what what did you do man <laughs> so i so decided stupid. i wanted to he gets swastikas tattooed all over his body and one day he wakes up and he's like oh what did i do to myself yeah checks out when i went into tom my brothers i'm not affiliated anymore it turned into an argument straight up argument i told him they could kiss my whoa and he got what quiet a and they left I don't know if they followed me or if they just knew, but I pull into this gas station and pump in the gas. And I remember I looked over and I cocked back to hit, but I was already hit. You know, they stomping and stomping and my head hit the concrete. And then I woke up in the hospital. I was in the hospital for two weeks. It's working good. I got adjusted a little bit, but it's working. Have any pictures uh, of that? We are live, man. We moved out here so we Sounds could stay like a out of town. story, if you ask me. And what, then they just left him alone? First of all, the whole story is obviously bull, right? Uh, I told them they could kiss my ass. <sighs> Mic drop. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, all these Reddit people are supposed to go coon brain, supposed to go soy face about that. Yeah, I told the KKK they could kiss my ass, covered in swastika tattoos from head to toe. Yeah. This Hitler stuff, no longer cool, guys. Kiss my ass. Goes to a gas station, gets beat up. Yeah, sounds plausible. And nobody can find us. But we're I... And by the way, we're supposed to feel sympathetic for him. You understand that's all part of a very carefully crafted narrative. Very carefully crafted narrative. Why did he leave? Well, his father died. The only reason he was a racist or whatever is because his father told him to. Wasn't him wasn't his ideas. It was his dad's ideas. He said even verbatim, it was his dad talking in his ear. So those ideas were never his own. He met this girl. So somebody, somebody dragged him out, right? Inside the story, he paid a penance for his sins, right? Well, he voluntarily left the organization and then he, well, he got beaten up for it. He was in the hospital for two weeks. Oh, I feel bad for him. Do you understand how this, we're five minutes in and the narrative is already so obviously contrived so that we're supposed to believe that this guy who is a, in the KKK is now a moral authority. Somebody who is actually a white supremacist, somebody who's actually in the KKK, actual skinhead, fed, you know, retard, we're now supposed to believe that this guy is somebody we should feel bad for this guy is now some kind of reformed hero, right? Well, he's just trying to make his life better. Oh, <laughs> so amazing. And his ideas were never his own. He never held those ideas. If he did, they were rational. They were from somebody else. All of that, you might hear all that and, and not, you know, see the motivation. But, but every little piece of the story it's a very specific and deliberate reason why this is included in the narrative. It's, it's all totally by design. Understand that, right? Christian Piccolini was like the same exact thing. I broke down one of his TED Talks. It's the same shit. It's all the same story, all the same reason. I am terrified that I'm going to get that phone call that he's dead or that like he's in the hospital More again. More sympathy. Here we got this today. Jesus Christ. $1,746. That's not counting food and gas. Well, I'm happy that I got out of the clan, but it's not been easy. If worst comes to worst, we can eat the dog. I mean, the goldfish will go first, but then the dog seven. And now it's actually way harder. I'm not laughing. You're a white supremacist, bro. I'm not. We're sm And that, that's, to me, why this doesn't work is because they're trying to make people believe that this guy who is actually in the KKK is now some kind of plucky, funny underdog. I don't think so. 
You know, they go on later on and say, oh, white supremacists can never be forgiven and blah, blah, blah. And Lord knows that's how all the rest of them think. Even look at Christian Piccolini's timeline. There's so many shit lips that go on Christian Piccolini's Twitter and they're like, F you, like, you were you white supremacist then, you're white supremacist now, you don't have any moral authority, you know? So that's why a lot of this doesn't work, is we're, so, we're supposed to believe this is like this plucky, you know, sort of rough around the edges guy. Yeah, I, sorry. Sorry, I disavow skinheads. This guy's not funny to me, this guy's not cool, this guy's not a hero. This guy's a fucking degenerate. Who probably got in over his head and then the feds cut him a deal and let's stop pretending it's anything more than that because uh it's not just tiffany and i anymore uh oh you don't want to be like yeah i want him to finish school and i want him to go to college i want my son to have a better life than i had you know what help with the bills is if you get a job keep grinding and grinding but i struggle every day to get by <laughs> come on racism is not normal. Stay focused. Never forget that you were once the same way. Just in case he needed to remind himself, he's got a little whiteboard drawn up. I should do that. I should take my whiteboard for the show and hang it up in the studio, and I should write something like this. Just to remind myself, hey, don't be a racist. Oh, thanks for the heads up. Yeah. This is all completely authentic. This is all really authentic, really serious stuff. This is all real. Mm -hmm. I believe it. Hopefully I overcome. I can't guarantee I'm going to overcome. I have to keep on trying to do the right thing for my son and for my wife. I would even go as far as to say that none of this is even real. I would go as far as to say that his wife isn't real, that that's not his kid, that the wedding pictures are fake. I would go as far as to say that this wedding picture isn't even real. It doesn't even look real to me. He looks the same in this picture as he does in the rest of the show. I don't know. Is that is that a, a bridge too far? But to me, the whole thing seems inauthentic, if you ask me. This looks like it was astroturfed. Don't ask me why. I don't think somebody like this guy could put together, you know, sort of the perfect uh, hipster wedding, right? You've got the lights in the barn. This seems to me a little bit... I don't know, is that weird to say? But it seems to me like this photo goes a little too tasteful for somebody like this to produce. Not to mention, when I talked to this guy in real life, all he talked about to me was titty bars and getting laid and getting pussy. He didn't seem like a married family man with a kid. Didn't seem like that was the case. So I would go as far as to say as the marriage isn't real, maybe the kid's not real. I, I, would, I, would, go as far as, I would go as far as to say as the whole thing is not real. I don't believe any of it. And for my wife. Same hat. Yeah, exactly. Your grandma was an angel. I definitely believe that. And that's why she's going to be in my heart, in your heart, for all eternity. <laughs> I wish you could have met her. I really do. My name is Kaylin Doctor. And I'm a brand new mom. I live with my boyfriend, Eric, and our new little baby, Kobe, boyfriend. who's seven weeks. Catch that. Mm, we need some tissue. No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> you need tissue, babe. You know, when I think about, you know, just creating a whole little person that I love so much, it's just, it's kind of overwhelms me a little bit, my feelings. They just start coming out. I was born and raised nice. in Charleston, South Carolina. And I was 17 when I moved to Charlotte, North Carolina. Love you. I graduated high school, and then two weeks later, my mom passed. Two weeks later from Somebody that, saying, I was off this. to yeah, Charlotte. I don't even to appear until like the half hour. And mark. this is probably like one of my favorite pictures because it's actually just me and her. This Would anybody like mind if I just skip to the part that I'm in? I don't really school. want to watch all this. As I was walking the stage, I saw her. I guess it might be worth it just to watch. Crying. You know what the hell? Yeah, we'll just watch the whole like, thing. It's just crazy how my eyes just automatically hooked on to her. She's big on education, so she was really proud of anybody graduating anything. <laughs> my mom was loving, caring. She didn't turn her back on anybody. Yeah, I'm just going you know to skip it. Everyone's yeah, saying her. skip. I really do. I never thought, what if somebody just tries to kill us because we're black? It, skip it, I never really skip. thought of it that way yeah, right, until we'll it actually happened to me, so. Everyone's saying skip. Some are saying watch it, some are saying skip it. 
I'll, I'll skip it. It looks like overwhelmingly. I was sleeping on the couch that sleep. morning, so I saw a glimpse of her before she left. Got off work at like five o'clock. All right, here we go. Where's our audio? Do we not have audio? Last lifetime. Oh, you're. Yeah. What the fuck? Alrighty. Are you kidding me? We just don't have audio for that part? Where's the audio? Oh, here we go. Links to full download with audio in the description. Somebody says. Okay, here we go. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, oh it's got to be like this. Bruh. Whoops. Oh. Okay, let's do... Like, whoops, like that? <laughs> Boomer, shut up. Shut the fuck up. File does not exist on this server? Bruh. Right click. Scam virus. It's not, a, it's not a scam virus, I'm sure. Spyware mode. Um. All right. I guess we'll just skip over the part with no sound, right? Or is somebody else posting another link here? Let me do this. That's a bummer. We're already, we're already, we didn't even get to see any part of me. And this is the part where it's shitting out on us. It didn't even get the whole thing, though. You didn't even get the, this other link that was posted didn't even get the part that's missing here. So, whatever. It's only like a minute that we miss. We got other uploads here. New link with audio. Okay. I'll try this one. Dot com slash. Uh. That's the no, same I... link that doesn't work, bro. It's not the part that we need. How about this one? Is this the right one? Refresh? Refresh, people are saying. <laughs> Words okay, let's take and a deadly look. action. We'll see. It contains real, uncensored examples of hate. Why would it? Why would refreshing work? I mean, I we're talking to the descendant of such a terrible, hateful man. Yeah, like supported that kind of stuff. Does it make you nervous? Yeah, definitely. See? Okay. So. This is the same one. People keep posting the same one. There's more links. I'm people keep posting the same fucking link that doesn't have the uh, the minute that we need there. Yeah, no, I see that one. That is not that does not have the part that is missing. Check description. Yeah, we did that already. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What I have to download it? I don't think I can have that lewd picture up here for very long. I don't want to, I'm not, I don't want to do this. I want to fucking stream it. What is wrong with you? All right, let's just let's just skip over that part, I guess. Well, that's actually no, it's a good part. It's an important part. I think there might be clips of it on Twitter. I'll just pull up the parts that we that we can't find on Twitter, I guess, that are that are muted here. Thanks, thanks a lot, by the way, Groiper Maximus. Great fucking job. Oh, let's see. I guess we'll have to find something else. Find another uh, thing here. Uh, 
I'll search uh, Nick. For, I think uh, actually Nick or Nation posted a part one and part two. Let's see. I guess not. No, I was wrong. Stop posting the same. This one does not have what we need in there. I don't know why you keep posting the same one. It's not. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> It doesn't, so about a minute of this is muted. This link everyone keeps posting does not have the minute that we need. It's the same. Okay, so if you keep posting this one. All right. This does not have this part that we need, this two minutes. Do you understand that? We need this, like, two-minute period, and this upload that everyone is linking does not have that two-minute period. It starts here which is like all the way over here, okay? So we're, we're missing this two-minute segment. So stop posting that link. Jeez. Vince James replay. Let me see if I can find that. I don't see, is that on his YouTube channel or is it on DLive? I hate doing this. I should have had this sorted out, but thank, thanks for fucking up the fucking upload, retard. Here is how Dan, a soon to be college grad, and a. Okay, that's the same one. All right, I will. Oh, it's on D Live. Okay, is he reacting to it though? Because I don't want it to be like going over his reaction. Let's see. Nick look like the we groups. Or some okay, what do you? What is wrong with you? I don't even care about that issue particularly at this point. So because this is the a replay of Vince's stream. I don't. I don't see the actual video in Vince's stream. Idiots came. Or robbing. What the fuck is wrong with you people? The ADL's hand. Oh, watch Vince's replay. People... Vince's replay doesn't have the part that we need. And we just have like to the be... other link. What's wrong with you? How stupid can you be? Vince's replay. Vince's replay. Sheesh. I'm not talking about Vince. I'm talking about people that are saying, oh, oh, oh. Watch Vince's replay. Watch Vince's replay does not have it in there. Subtitles? This, if there's no audio, there's no subtitles, dipshit. Streamable link. Yeah, really great job. You had one fucking job. Nice work. Nice work. Speaks real eloquent, but uh, he's. This doesn't have it either. Distance of our. I heard it there. All right. Well, it has some of it. You know what? Whatever. We'll watch this part. It has some of it. Doesn't have the whole thing, but I'm not going to nitpick over like 10 seconds. All right, where's my link? Oh, I got to go to my history. Where was I? All where's, right. Where's, where's the one that I need? The one that we were just watching before. words okay so this is the one we were watching we'll use stream streamable for this like two minute segment i guess then back to the other one great work great work everybody we just need to record 50 minutes of television excellent job ah shit i just deleted the one that i needed all right here we go words and deadly action yeah, because- shut up Okay, here we go. Here but, we go. But uh, he's speaking the same propaganda we spoke. 
we must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children. Well, you know, I don't know why that's so controversial. Did you have heard his message? <laughs> I mean, last time I heard it, they were wearing robes and hoods, but it speaks real eloquent, but uh, he's speaking the same propaganda we spoke. <laughs> it's very, it's very concerned. We have a very concerned face Must here. secure the existence of our people and a future for white children. Well, you know, I don't know why that's so controversial. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, how is it controversial? I know, you know, you probably shouldn't go around saying that, which at the time I didn't know, like, really what that man or where it came from or anything. But really, I mean, look, making sure white people exist. What's controversial about that? If you said that about black people, nobody have a problem with it. And that's what I said on the show. I said, I know it's this, you know, terrible slogan. It's this Nazi slogan and whatever. But the sentiment, but let's, okay, if we don't express it in the exact 14 words, you know, whatever, but think about it, saying white people should survive, what's controversial about that? It's what I said on the show. <laughs> and we got this face. Right? Am I crazy? We must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children. Well, you know, I don't know why that's so controversial. It's yeah, why? What? I mean, I, I, of course, I know why it's controversial, but the sentiment, what is offensive about the sentiment outside of the connotation, right? Yeah, hers. And he's going to act. This is guy with swastika tattoos all over his chest is going to, is going to do that to me. Really? His message. I mean, last time I heard it, they were wearing robes and hoods, but. Oh, uh, here we go again before. with the robes and hoods. He's got 1488 going everywhere. The rally cry for white supremacists. 1488 going, going everywhere. He says it's going it's everywhere. Message before. He's highlights one message. <laughs> highlights one message. And they're saying, you know, gas the LARPers. That's probably not the best way to say it, but they're saying we don't like LARPers. Good stuff. GG lads. I don't care. He says something the million time. Spencer banging 18 year olds when he is married. That's not good. Gonna be a Chad and go premium. <laughs> okay. They're everywhere. It's everywhere. Highlights literally one iteration of it. Got a 1488 going everywhere. How about a 1776? The rally cry for white supremacists. He's not doing anything different than any of us done. It's just different clothes. That is so stupid. This is a scumbag who is in the KKK burning crosses, attacking people, terrorizing people. You know, the KKK lynched people. He's saying the only difference between the KKK and this guy is different clothes. Yeah, well, I never lynched anybody either. And I never did a cross burning. And I never got arrested for, you know, like this This guy literally got arrested for beating people up in a bar. I never did a clan attack. It's a little bit more of a difference. I don't have any swastika tattoos. It's just a different approach, different style. Just a different approach. Just a, a different style. Yeah. In the same way that, like, I don't know, in the same way that Antifa has a different approach than Nancy Pelosi, right? I mean, but approach, style, all these things kind of matter, you know? Lynching people versus not, you know, that's kind of not an arbitrary difference. He's preaching a very extreme message. But I might really? be able to What's help extreme? him if I could sit down and talk with him because he could ruin a lot of people's lives. My name is Nicholas J. That's Francis, not my house, by the way. A lot of people have said, oh, we like that's doxing me. That's, that's Nicholas a, J. They just put there. That's Jay not Francis, my house. And we have a great show for you tonight. To begin, we have to talk about the worst <laughs> of the elite. <laughs> Better not be late tonight. H.H. brother, which is Hulk Hogan. Israel's our greatest ally. White pride. <laughs> it changed, brother. They break our laws and come here. They kill American citizens who pay taxes. Yeah, they did do that. If, if creating a hostile work environment is calling someone a f then you're a f it. I don't want to work with you. This, <laughs> this is the extreme message. They say, Nick Fuentes has this extreme message. What is extreme so far? I said, the 14 words was kind of cringe. I shouldn't have said that. But I said like, oh, well, what's controversial about that? I said, illegal immigrants are killing people. Just don't be sensitive in the workplace. I'm, you know, he said, oh, he's pushing a very extreme message. 
where exactly is the extremism here? It'd be one thing if I was on the show saying like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything on optical here, but I said, hmm, white people should exist. What's controversial about that? Oh, uh, illegal immigrants are killing citizens, which is happening. If you're, a, if you get offended by being called a fag, you're a fag. Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Easy Hitler. Easy. Whoa. This guy's out of control. This is the KKK, <laughs> KKK telling me that I have extreme views. Okay. It was America first as always. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your evening. Have a great rest. All of right. Evening. Good viewership today too. That is before, by the way, this setup is uh, before the major, major changes in the studio. Obviously, I've got a proper desk now. I've got a boom arm for my microphone. I've got dual monitors, supercomputer. I've got an office chair that rotates. You can see my chair here is like a uh, folding. It's like sort of a nicer folding chair. I've got an office chair. So you've got some upgrades, if you couldn't tell. The before the penthouse. That's right. Before the penthouse suite. Yeah, yeah. Started from the bottom. Right. Good viewership today, too. And then they're going to show the Jews will not replace us thing, which I was not a participant in. Yeah, they always show this. I was not at this. They always show the Tiki Torch thing. I was not at the Tiki Torch thing. You can find no footage of me there or any evidence that I was there because I wasn't there. I wasn't even in the state of Virginia when this happened. I flew in the Saturday of the rally in Lee Park. This happened the Friday before. With the Confederate flags and Confederate monument, when you see it, it just means. Wait a second, was that When Simon? you see it, it just. The Confederate flag. Hey! <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's, that's a big guy. Yeah, this is very cringe. I And I said this is cringe. White polo shirts, tiki torches. This is cringe. Even at the time, everybody's like, no, no, that was based. No, it's fucking cringe. Tiki torches? Really? If you're going to do torches, they should have done torches. You know, like an actual torch. Not a tiki torch. I never thought this was a good idea. And people fought me on this for years. They said, no, this is a great look. This is actually epic. No, no, it sucked. It looks gay. I told them people are laughing at you. Boomers are laughing at you. And look, the fire thing was kind of cool. If you had like a real torch, not you go to Walmart and buy a citronella, you know, whatever, a tiki torch. And Confederate monument, when you see it, it just means racism. It's just a symbol of blatant hate. When I see it, it just means we don't like your kind. And look, this whole it, thing it just, was just cringe. Look, cargo shorts, the... I mean, look at what's going on here, man. Really, helmets, shields. I mean, I know hindsight is twenty twenty, but come on, man. And what, what they fail to acknowledge is that I took this movement away from this shit. This is what the movement used to be. This is all that existed to the right of, you know, Breitbart. All that existed to the right of Breitbart was this cringe. Fat people in helmets and cargo shorts with fucking LARP shields. And I don't want to say single-handedly, but I was a big part of pushing us in another direction, taking us from Jews will not replace us, Tiki Torch cringe, and towards America first, American nationalism, all that little thing called the optics wars. You know, so they want to make it out like, oh, the... I said I was at Charlottesville, and they show the Tiki Torch thing. Not only was I not at the Tiki Torch thing, but for years I fought to reform this aspect of what was happening. So, just means we don't like your kind. I was not there to spread hate. I was there to protect my heritage. Yeah, true. And my culture. True, true. Which has a pretty good angle. And my culture to protect my kind. I was not there to spread hate. I was there to protect my heritage. Pretty good, pretty good optics here. Handsome, you know, handsome check. Ty could have used a little bit of refreshing, I guess you could say. We got the bookshelf, we got the uh, manga head in the background. Kind of cool, kind of cool though. Heritage and my culture. The white supremacy. They show the one guy. That, there was literally one guy at the whole rally with a folded up Nazi flag. Oops. Their goal and is to eliminate. I am, I've never been a national socialist, by the way. The other races. Okay. 
Our goal is retard. to eliminate the other races. The goal, first of all, hello, retard check. The white supremacist groups, their goal is to eliminate the other races. No, idiot. First of all, not a white supremacist. Second of all, our goal is not to eliminate. That has never been the position. That has never, ever, ever been anything that I've said on the show or even close to that. <laughs> the goal is to eliminate the other race, white supremacist. No, bitch. No, you stupid idiot. We are not white supremacists. Our goal is not to... What we are advocating for is a moratorium on immigration and a porn ban, okay? And ending foreign aid to Israel. At no point is anybody on my show or myself advocated for eliminating other races. Nice try. Their demonstrations are just dangerous. We heard that they were going to send in the, the National Guard to start breaking up the demonstration. My mom calling me frantically said, somebody's just been hit by a car. Are you okay? Are you all right? And I said, yeah, I didn't hear anything about that. Which is true, by the way. They want to make it out like they always do this. Oh, you were at Charlottesville. Someone's killed at Charlottesville. You're a terrorist. That's always the line of reasoning. Oh, you're a legitimate person, but you're at a rally. And at this rally, somebody died. As I said in this interview... I didn't even know somebody got hit by a car until somebody called me and said, oh, like, there was somebody got hit by a car. I had already left. We were, like, on our way back to the hotel. I was literally, like, blo I was, like, a block away from my hotel, about to go back to the hotel. My mom called me. She's like, are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. I saw on the news, it was Faith Goldie's coverage of it, actually, for Rebel. Somebody just got hit by a car. I said, what, do you, what are you talking about? I said, we're on the way to the hotel. It's me. It's James. It's Baked Alaska. Millennial Matt. We're doing fine. So yeah, and they're gonna they're gonna make this about me. Really? The death was a tragedy, okay? But let's not pretend like Nice like cut. Nice cut. Nice obvious cut there, by the way, right? But let's not pretend But let's not pretend you hear that? Death was a tragedy, okay? But let's not pretend Do you see that? Let me see if I could even go back and f let's see if I could even go back and find the original episode. Why? Let's just try it for fun, right? Let me go into my channel, see if I can locate. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think I, I deleted like a full page of videos. I wonder if I have it on my hard drive. Damn it. It would be good to know what, what episode number that was. Is it in the, tr there's a transcript tool that I have. You know what, give me a, let's do some super sleuthing real quick. Let me see if I can find it. Because I might be able to. I have this tool that I use to uh, look up transcripts from my shows, and it might be in there. It's just going to index the transcripts real quick. It'll, it'll load in a minute. I'll be able to search it up. Because I'd be curious to see what exactly I said. Because that's so convenient. This is kind of like an important thing. Kind of like an important accusation that you're trying to say, oh, you know, he doesn't care about Heather Heyer, and you use like a jump cut, right, to uh, make it seem like I said something else. I'd be curious to see what exactly was said. Let's see. Let's see, maybe if I look up tragedy. Nah, it looks like it only indexed this transcript search. Like, not, it's not all the shows. Damn it, that'd be, it would have been good to know, right? Well, if somebody's a super sleuth. Maybe they could find it. I'm sure I've, I have all my shows saved on my hard drive, my external hard drive. So if I took a long enough time, I could probably locate it. But I'll I'll see if I can find it later. People are saying episode one sixty seven is is that it? How do you know it's how do people know it's one sixty seven? I wonder. But you know, just for fun, I'll pull it up. I'll see if it's the one. Let's see, one sixty seven. Oh, this is <laughs> this is the one with BG Coombe. This is definitely not. <laughs> 
<laughs> episode 167. I don't know if that's supposed to be a meme or something, but this is the episode with uh, <laughs> BG Coombe. <laughs> Do you guys remember when he was on the show? <laughs> this is episode 167. Americanism, not globalism, will be our credo. I'm high. Do you look at these other characters? And it's like creator. Unironically incel. This bump on Twitter. One so. Bump. Mm got to prepare yourself for the notoriety that'll come after after appearing on the show oh okay yeah well thank you for that nick mm -hmm. you got it you got a good physique i will say i watched your video where you defended uh amy schumer and i was like i thought you were just ironic but you actually had a good physique and i was like why like that was there was no homo no homo that, because usually you look at a sam hyde you look at these other characters and it's a little bit sloppy. <laughs> Everyone's saying gay, I gay say check. I do, I do appreciate the physique. Are you, by the way, are you Catholic? Um, no, I'm pro <laughs> I'm uh, you Shut know, up! Was it, was just, I'd say, I'd say the New right? Testament is my denomination. Wow. But, um, you know, I know you're Catholic and I'm Protestant. Yeah. So, like, let's not have, like, a 30 years war situation here, you know. No, there's to. no ill will between us. Uh, right, okay. Nick? Okay, yeah, I guess. I guess there's but, uh, no reason for it yet. Yeah, about my physique, um, you know, I don't even lift weights. Um, it's all farmer all right. strength. We don't, need to, <laughs> we don't need to hear anymore. But uh, you remember the stream. He started with his shirt on, by the way. So you know, I got to get like physically a weird thing, removed okay? from somewhere at least once a week. I hear that. Are, are you going back to school or are you finished now, now that you've been kicked? All right. It's, I remember this show was like uniquely bad. Ah, oh, they took away the comments. Because I think towards the end, everybody was like, you got to kick him off. But I literally ended the interview because people are like, this guy sucks. Kick him off. Get easy, big guy. Thanks for thanks for coming on. But the settings adjust them. Hosting uh, a Rainbow Six Siege uh, pit bulls. Yeah, then we did a call-in show. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, minor, minor detour. Minor detour. Not really relevant. But that was, people were saying, oh, episode 167 is the one. That was obviously not the right episode. I wonder what episode it was. I'll have to go back and find it. I'll have to go into my hard drive. <laughs> that was giving me a hard time about it. Oh, yeah, that was that was a good clip to play this weekend, right? And like, like we're talking about Gandhi or, or Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> but let's not pretend anything about that. The death was a tragedy, okay? But let's not pretend like like we're talking about Gandhi or, or Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> so I, it doesn't even make sense in context. I'm sure I was saying something completely different about Martin Luther King Jr. and Gandhi because it, logically it's not doesn't make any sense. It was a tragedy, but we're not talking about Martin Luther King Jr. How does that make any sense? So anyway, I'll have to find that episode. Oh, oh my gosh. Could it get more ridiculous? The music, the, the dark lighting. There it is, folks. 20K. And by the way, I made them turn the lights on after this because they were like, maybe we'll get like a like sort of like a nighttime look. Like we're just this is how they pitched it to me. They're like, we'll turn the lights off and put this lamp on just because we're trying to get like different settings that's what they told me i'm like why do you turn the lights off isn't it supposed to be like realistic they're like well we want to get a couple of shots like with you behind the desk and maybe one with like the lights off we're just trying to change it up a little i was like okay and then we were doing this and then afterwards i said you know what let's turn the lights on this is supposed to be realistic i don't really like this look you're going to show me like i'm on 4chan whatever lo and behold that's what they did and they've got the uh, cat boy. <laughs> they've got my cat boy. There you can see, this is supposed to be so menacing. I'm sure I still have it. Let me pull out. This is going to blow your mind. Let me see. Kind of hard to see within the envelope. You know what's in here. Okay. 
We got this. Let me get the other thing. Okay. I don't know if you're... For, so, they're trying to make it seem like all menacing. Oh, my gosh. He's, you know, in the shadowy... Oh, he's in the basement. He's like an internet troll. And they've got over here... Whoops. Is there a better angle of it? Yeah. So, they've got over here this card, which is from this... A uh, girl who used to watch the show. I don't know if you remember. Or no, this is not from a girl. It's from a guy named Will. This was from the girl. Uh, this fan, a fan of mine, sent in this card with a cat on it. It's cat boy. And it says, To America's greatest political commentator, supreme thought destroyer, and number one cat boy, Nicholas J. Fuentes, thank you for everything you do. You're the absolute greatest. I threw in a small extra something with this. Maybe you can order the Nick or two with it. Keep up the good work. He sent me a Domino's gift card. America First signed Will. It says, P.S. Uh, if the book didn't make it to you in one piece, let me know ASAP so I can file a complaint and send you my other copy. Uh, P.P.S. If you were already opening the book live on air, I was surprised by the card. You're welcome to read it. I don't really care either way. There's nothing private in here. So I guess he sent me a book as well. Okay, so very nice. I, oh, that's so menacing. And it's like a catboy card by a fan very wholesome don't it's not, it's not gay it's earnest it's very nice stop saying it's gay it was nice and earnest it was a nice fan of the show he says you're you're great you're a cool guy and this was sent in by a girl who used to watch the show uh it's uh what is it some kind of like it's like a license plate kind of a thing and it's says catboy from the Peach State. But I just had this hang up. This is some of the fan signed stuff that was sent into me early on in the show. It's one of our earlier memes. And uh, so that's what they posted. But in short, the reason I brought it up, it's wholesome. It's wholesome. It's not gay. It's wholesome. Um, but the but point being is they're going to try and make it seem like, oh, oh, this is so, he's so like ominous and terrible and He's this evil guy, and it's like a very nice fan-made card. You know, somebody sends me a nice message. Some girl, you know, sends me a nice thought-out little thing. And by the way, I've got everything that's ever been sent to me. I do keep in an envelope all the nice cards, messages, everything you should see. Simon Scola, I swear to God, I almost cried when I saw this. Simon, who... Uh, he asked a couple of questions in the Groiper Wars. He asked one in Boston, and he asked one in New, <clears throat> in New Hampshire. He's been watching the show for years. I met him at CPAC. He sent me a Halloween card, and all that was in it was a, gro <laughs> was a picture of a Groiper. I swear, I swear to you, I opened it up, and it was like, it amazed, I don't know why, but it just affected me on a very emotional level. There wasn't any money in it. It wasn't even any gift. It was just like a just a very pure, wholesome, thoughtful gesture, you know. Just sent me a, a fall greetings card. Happy Halloween. Happy fall. With a picture of a groiper and a couple of pumpkin stamps. I swear, I open up the card, and it's like people send me a lot of nice things. People send me money, whatever. And, and obviously, I appreciate that, but there was just something so, like, pure. There was something just so, like, innocent, something so wholesome just want to send me a groiper, you know, it's just a very, just a very innocent sort of a thing. And it's, it, I almost feel like weird about it. Cause it's like some people send me like, you know, lots of money or, and all that. And it's obviously, you know, obviously I appreciate that. And I love that, but this, this just sort of like, do you know what I mean? It's just not that it caught me off guard, but it was just sort of, um, I don't know. What's, what's the word? It was just, uh, what would you say? I don't know. It was just a little bit of a surprise. It was like out of the ordinary, I guess you could say. I'm not really finding the right word, but <laughs> somebody's saying move on. Shut up. He's saying move on. Shut up. We're, ha we're having a wholesome moment. Point being, I'm a nice guy. Fuck the media. But I'm going to put this back in my drawer. I'll have to clean this up later. I got all my Nerf darts spilled everywhere in that drawer. 
Okay, we'll move on, okay? Or I did not have firepower. But now that I have 20,000 followers, I can really influence the conversation. 20,000 is a nice start, but, you know, we'll see where I am in a year, two years. How many do you want? Where am I? Where am I in a year? Where am I in a year? Wait, wait, wait. Where am I? I said, hang on. Where I am in a year, two years. <laughs> we'll see where I am in a year, two years. I was at what, 20K? Boom, 75,000. Eat shit. How many do you want? A million. A hundred million. A <laughs> hundred million. I don't think he understands that the message he's spreading is resonating with white supremacists. He doesn't understand. I think I just hit 75k too, right? I must have gained like 300 followers. Spit that propaganda to a person who goes the ultimate extreme and kills somebody. People's lives are ruined forever over something that he thinks is a big game. We're going to Statesville, and it's fuck. Okay, well, this one's almost over, so we gotta go back to this one. <laughs> nice vo- So the volume's broken on the whole fucking thing. I thought it was just that, like, two-minute part. Ugh, all right, we got to go back to the other, other video. All right, all right. here we go. Good viewership today, Hopefully too. this one works. Where is it? I don't know. Let me think you and what or get into some of the statues of your great yeah. uncle. As a pastor, it is my moral duty to speak out against racism, America's original sin. I hate what this tasty, fat, soy face, a descendant of Robert E. Lee. Like, listen, son, your ancestors were heroes. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Pasty soy face cock. As a pastor, it is my moral duty to speak out against racism, America's original sin. This pasty, fat, soy face, a descendant of Robert E. Lee. Like, listen, son, your ancestors were heroes. I was so chad, honestly. When I was 19, I don't know what happened. I think my face filled in. I got. You know, I don't I think it fat, but my face filled in. I don't have the same sort of like angular features. Like, listen, son. Look at this chat. I mean, I still basically look the same, but I don't know. I feel like I looked a little bit more angular, don't you think? Or maybe I look the same. Let me get a quick, let me get a quick comparison. To make the Let's see. Uh, I'll pull up the Milo thing. Move on, move on. Shut up, bitch. I'm Please trying to get a face comparison. Trying to get a face check. Can I get a face check in chat? Let's see, was there a good face moment? I get hung up on these stupid things. I'm sure everybody's pissed. We want to watch the show. Uh, I, I do, see, do you? Do you? I want to see the face comparison. Okay, I want. I want it. I want it. I want to see it. I want my phone call. I want it. There was a good shot where I turned and faced the camera. I was like, "Thanks, it's Nick Fuentes." I think this might be it. There it is. There it is. No, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Do I look a little? Oh, yeah, I look a little bit more filled in. We'll say I look a little bit more filled in. I didn't get it exactly. Let me see if I could time it just right. <laughs> Move on. No, shut up. Okay, let's see if I can catch it right when it happens, right when I get square with the camera. There it is. Ah! Ah! All right, whatever. Well, yeah, I think I look a little bit more angular in this one. Anyway. Your ancestors were heroes. <laughs> fat. Shut up. I'm not fat. I just filled in. 
I know you said that you resigned because of the attention that Layoff was going to be mask. found. That hurts my feelings. Like it was you know deeper that? than it that. You guys were giving a good interview. Yeah. <laughs> I was serving a church in, in Winston Salem. Change. When I wear the hat around the city, Chad it's uh, a lot of dirty, nasty looks. <laughs> she should get the f back in the kitchen. <laughs> Base. There we go. <laughs> Quite the crowd. It was kind of cringe to say get back in the kitchen, but it was like 2018, okay? Cut me some slack. I yo, chat, yo, Chad check. Yo, drip check. MAGA check. Joy. Stir in the pot a little bit. When I wear the hat around the city, it's uh, a lot of dirty, nasty looks. <laughs> she should get the f back in the kitchen. <laughs> Lab was a little cringe, but owned. Quite the crowd. We'll get the periscope working. Yeah. People want to see conflict, so we're going to shoot it up here on Twitter. Oh, maybe four turn of phrase. Here we are, folks. Bombs <laughs> demand turn. action. What did I say? Four turn of phrase. What is that? So we're gonna shoot it up here on Twitter. Oh, maybe four turn of phrase. <laughs> here we are, folks. Shoot it up. Bombs demand <laughs> At action. Anti-gun anti control rally. or anti-gun control. And here rally. you can see people are very upset. Actually, they want to take your guns. And they've all made their nice uh, little homemade signs. Very sweet. What does that say? NRA guns equals ba ba ba. Dude, why are you concerned about the NRA? I'm not even really sure why I'm talking to you. Why not? Because it had. <laughs> You're a f dude. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, please. Excuse me. You're Any a fag, kind of dude. protesting's on the other side of the street. Yeah. I'm not even dude. sure why I'm talking to you. Okay, you're a fag. <laughs> I'm a fag? Yeah, you are. Why are you concerned about the NRA? I'm not even really sure why I'm talking to you. Why not? Because it had. <laughs> you're a f dude. I'm a f <laughs> You are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, please. Excuse me. Any counter protestings on the other side? <laughs> that's so funny. Well, that's just it. People are always like, oh, I bet you wouldn't say that to my face. You know, some guy's like, I shouldn't even be talking to you because of your hat. Oh, okay, you're a fag. <laughs> what did you say about me? You're a fag, you know? That's good stuff. That's good shit. Wow. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Thank Chicago's you. Chicago's finest. <laughs> All right, well, counter protest is over here. Well, we got kicked to the other side of the street. But we'll be back in a moment. Uh, talk to you later, big fellas. Ugh. Coming You're up. creating a f***ing movement of people that are white supremacists. I'm not creating anything. You. I do a show on YouTube. The sh you're like saying is exactly I'm... the f***ing same. Robbie's just moved in. What? What is HIV? Here we go. Change is complicated. You don't have a conversation with me, the next day you're, uh, you know, not racist anymore. You want to sleep, Jack? Hey, Shane, there is a process of planting seeds, and those seeds are just thoughts. That's what brings the ultimate change is when they're able to start questioning. Planting seeds, and the seeds are just thoughts. Really, you know, really <laughs> powerful mind here working with, really serious brain power we're operating with. We're planting seeds, and the seeds are actually thoughts. Oh, I never thought of it that way. What they believe in, because then they start realizing, like, this is a little crazy. Hopefully I can get them to recognize the message that he's preaching is a message of hate, and it's dangerous. One thing, man, look, I used to be involved with some, with some extremist groups. Mm -hmm. um, 14 words, securing the existence of our people and the future for white children. I see it on your comment board, mm -hmm. you know, people. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the comment board. <laughs> Boomer. Oh, this guy was like... I think he's under 30, and he's talking about the comment so board. The message is the same, right? The mm -hmm. rally cry is exactly the same. So sure. I don't understand the difference. I mean, you guys present it a little. By the way, I think that sure is uh, 
edited in there. I don't think, if you watch it, I don't think I said sure to that. Differently. Right. I, I just believe that these are a lot of legitimate grievances that we have. I mean, look at what's happening in our country where the birth rates for white people are below replacement rate. I mean, doesn't that concern you? Man. No. If you believe that your race is superior over other, you believe the white which, race. Which is I don't, though. You I don't. I don't believe. You don't that. believe white people are superior. Not at all. What, what do you believe? That. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Does this kind of defeat? What the fuck is this thing even called? White supremacy destroyed my life. Can we can we rewind that for a second? Man. No. If you believe that your race is superior over other, you believe the white which, race. Which is, I don't, though. Which you I don't. don't. I don't believe. You don't that. believe white people are superior. Not at all. What, how, what do you? You believe? don't believe white people are superior. No, not at all. MTV presents white supremacy destroyed my life. Oh, okay. Well, what do you believe then? Hmm. You know, maybe it helps to actually have the conversation, right, and not just assume or project what people believe. That you have differences between the races. So you want it to be like the 50s? Sure. In the 1950s, we were a Christian nation. Men were men, women were women. In the 1950s, there were still homosexuals. There were still atheists. Of course, atheists. Of course. but still... they were seen as, as deviant and not normative, which is different. Well, you know. <laughs> Literally, what's wrong with anything I just said? No, I'm not a white supremacist, but I think the, that differences exist between groups. And yeah, maybe it should be like the 50s. Men were men, women were women, it's a Christian nation. Homosexuals were seen as deviant and not normative. What about this is, is controversial? What about this is extreme? The guy said, this is extreme. He has some extreme views. Guy you know, got funny, I actually smoked. got a big fight with a ton of people in the movement because they were marching with the KKK, because they were marching with the skinheads. I said, I'm not about that. Why would you not want to march with them? Wouldn't would you guys want to unite? But you understand that the KKK has a legacy of killing people. The alt-right has killed people. No, they haven't. Who have they killed? Somebody died in Charlottesville, didn't they? Mm hmm Yeah, they edited. That is not how that went down. That is not how that went down, edited. Of course, I clarified that you're talking about one person who gets run over by a car versus thousands of lynchings, systematic, you know, terror, systematic violence, whatever. So that's a very, very fascinating how they cut that. Like, oh, I have nothing to say, but... I don't have the full record. The you're saying now is the same we said. You guys are wearing suits. We wore robes. Every other race can be proud to be who they are, except for white people. Is that, is that an illegitimate thing to believe? When whites do it, it turns into a hate group. I have never met a guy that said I, I, white pride without him intending it to be racist. What about me? I think you have racist views. He literally can't even look me in the eye. Literally can't even look me in the eye. This is who these people are. Can't even look me in the eye. And notice that's a theme throughout the whole thing. And I think you know you have racist. What does racist mean to you? It means look you at me. And look at me. Cogent, into a logical. I have never met a guy that said I, I, white pride without him intending it to be racist. What about Eye contact. Me? Yeah, Chad. Yo, Chad poise. The Chad lean. Versus the virgin mope. The virgin. Versus the Chad what? The Chad, excuse me, what? I think you have racist views, and I think you know you have what racist views. What does racist mean to you? It means you believe you're racist superior over everybody so else. So a white it, supremacist. It, it, yeah, you I'm not a white supremacist. You definitely are. You man. sat here and asked me what you're you doing is you're creating people. a movement of people that are white supremacists. I'm not creating anything. I do a show on YouTube. Eye contact. I see a lot of Eye contact, Jack. I can't control what people comment. Why do you think the people are, are coming to you? Now, if you're saying you're not that, that type of person, then maybe you should start thinking about what you're saying because these people think you are that type of person. I don't know what the KKK says, but... I know what they say. Okay, well, and let's say for I the sake of the argument... I, I had 22 years. The exactly. you're saying is and exactly I'm, the same. I'm not a race. Those are not my beliefs. He's smart enough to see that he is spreading a racist <laughs> ideology and that there's Such people bullshit, buying man. it. People just fucking lie. He can do some damage. He's preaching a very extreme message. How is it extreme? I don't think he will understand the gravity of that he's saying until somebody takes action. That's so stupid. It's been two years. Nothing's ever happened because I don't preach violence. Anything like that. I just... When I was in the clan, I brought in tons and tons of people, a lot of people. 
which is actually something that haunts me now because one of them stabbed a black guy to death and now he's doing life in prison. I got a lot on my conscience. I can't change the past, but I can try to help people now. Oh, you know, I'm seeing your grandma. My mom loves live by what my mom says and give every person the benefit of the doubt. I am extremely uh, grateful for the people that took the time to help me understand that I was wrong in my way of thinking. In the future, I want to be more like those people. Maybe one day the good I do now will outweigh the bad I've done. You know, so that's what, that sums it up. That's a nice script. Do I get an epilogue or what? What the fuck? Where's my epilogue? The Anti-Defamation League has created a wow. hub to report online hate speech. For more on how to join the fight against hate. That's so stupid. Where's my epilogue? I don't get a little where are they now. They don't say Nick Fuentes is handsome and doing fine. He's epic and based and red-pilled. Nick Fuentes is still killing it. Still a king. Uh, excuse me. All right. Well, there you have it. It's all a bunch of nonsense. You see the tactics that they use, you know. Let's see, we got a Nijigini. Austin says former Klansmen cucked to minorities. <laughs> That's one way to put it, yeah. Let's see what the reviews are. Let's see what's on the timeline. Ba, ba, ba. Dude, why are you concerned about the NRA? I'm not even really sure why I'm talking to you. Why not? Because it had. <laughs> You're a f dude. <laughs> you are. <laughs> What does that say? NRA guns. <laughs> You're a fag. Dude, why are you concerned about That's so funny. This is about me. Let's see. <clears throat> I have 22 years in the KKK. Shane Johnson, 26. <laughs> Guy from MTV Hippies joined the KKK when he was four years old. That's kind of funny, though. Let's get some uh, you know, lo-fi beats. You know, lo-fi check in chat, please. Bars and body washes you rub on your skin are classified by the FDA as synthetic detergent. Advertisement check. Let's turn that down. Turn it down in Streamlabs. All right. Now we can browse the timeline comfy mode. Let's see. <laughs> My ancestor. That's pretty funny. Lucky, what the heck? I want to get on the show. Molly Bryant tweeting about me again. Remember that if you trouble Nick Fuentes, you'll be hearing from his mommy. Wow, very rude. <laughs> yes. What a fucking bitch, dude. What a fucking dumb bitch. Look at this bitch. Yeah, these people like fuck with my family and they're like, remember, you'll be hearing from his mommy. Yeah. <laughs> That's an appropriate reaction. What a fucking dumb bitch. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, now, yeah, now they're making fun of me. Yeah, my mom's like, you should post that. You should post that. I'm like, nah, I probably shouldn't. Because we're going to get this reaction from very evil whores. Look at this stupid bitch. Yeah, bye. What does it say? Be fair, I don't blame her for trying to protect her kid. Yeah, okay. What a fu- These people are horrible, honestly. Total scum. Let's see. <laughs> 20 gate to 75. On to 100 million, yeah. 100 million next? 
let's see. I have such a piece of shit. Mother loves and supports her child. There's by all counts a decent person. Some blue check. Oh, well, isn't it crazy? His mom loves him. Shared her opinion. Bottom feeder. Only really, really long-term followers may know this, but my mom... Oh, that's not... I didn't know that. Kind of strikes a nerve that Molly's being such a... C. This isn't the first time she's been hacked forever, but that's political. She's getting personal. Very mean-spirited and petty. So true. Such a good thread. America first Hebrew says, yo, sorry, King. I'll learn from this. Nah, it's okay, bro. I was just kind of pissed off in the moment, but it's all good. I appreciate you uploading it. I pre- it's, it's the thought that counts. You made the effort. <laughs> I'm a former Giga gang member. Do you have high heels on my balls and penis? <laughs> Chief Bulging Snake says... As the only person that wasn't explicitly suck ass in that documentary, I think you can mark it up as advertising. Well, thanks for the Ninja Gini. I don't know if I go that far, but yeah, something like that. Look at this. Oof, these people are sick, man. Hello, I'm a former gay 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 member. And I'm looking to hashtag buy nudes, hashtag buy feet pics, and hashtag pay pig, a beautiful <laughs> melanin queen, please. <laughs> hashtag DM. Man, the content, honestly, though, the memes from this might be worth it alone. Is this the same tweet? Yeah, I'll retweet this. True, true check. You are a piece of shit. You're garbage. <laughs> Minnie Robinson and our uh, white supremacist guy. John Miller's pretty funny. I like that guy. Pound Aesthetic says, Nick Fuentes went on to lead the glory first to victory over the forces of evil. Yeah, that's my epilogue. <laughs> Shmood tonight is me laughing at this guy. Yeah, funny mode. <clears throat> what is this? Wild. About doing a 2010 rewind. Oh, yeah, I will do that. The rewind stream. I wonder what the response to this has been. <laughs> mom sent the email. Give him hell, Mama Fuentes. Bless your mom. Yeah, based mom check? Oh, yes. Yeah, should be a bigger image. Praying for your family, King. Thanks. Oh, you gotta go. Oh, Chicago anti-fascist. Wow, very cool, bro. How many cookies did your mom bake? Funny check. We got a bear in chat. <laughs> Completely owned. Yeah, people wonder why I do so much blocking. Do you see what I have to put up with? You're a white supremacist, just admit it. Bye. Yeah, you gotta go too. Your family trusted MTV. Yeah, well. That's the appropriate response, I think, right? Is well, you deserve that, right? You deserve to be lied about by the media. Jews trending. Oh, <laughs> Jews. That seems awfully anti Semitic, don't you think? The Jews are trending like that. Let's see what the ratio looks like. 1.2K. You know, 3.K check. 3.1. 1.8. Yeah, doing epic. Yeah, I think I'm doing epically. 2.9K check. What a freak. Drop her on the seat. I can't with a beam. Let it eat. Bust it on repeat. Nigga talking talk. Buddy sweet. Had to on my head. I just want it bust on my neck.
ass on my teeth. Put a nigga with a scope, make him cross, cross, cross it down the street. What a freak, drop her on the seat. AK with a beam, let it eat. Bust it on repeat. Nigga talking talk, but he's sweet. Had her on my head. I just want it bust on my neck. BBS on my teeth. Put a nigga with a scope, make him cross. <laughs> Your rape check. Kind of epic, epic content though. Cringe. Okay, banned. <laughs> Ear drum check. Yeah. Ear drum check. Chad check. <laughs> I got raped in prison. What? <laughs> Black guy. Bruh. Funny? <laughs> All that for a drop of... Oh, looking for a drop of clout. I say... All that for a drop of clout. That would have been better. Hmm. <laughs> Never forget Kensney's watchful eye. Classic Kensney. Lightening the mood a little bit. Well, I'm going to do a little gaming. Anybody want to do any gaming? Oh, hey. Festive DR says, hey, Nick. Hey. What's up, dude? Pretty cozy right now. High stream. <laughs> says Phil Goyper. Nick didn't get an epilogue. That sucks. Snow pie. Hi, Nick. I ride for my Nickas. Die for my Nickas. Hell yeah, dude. Shut the fuck up. Shut up, boomer. Shut the fuck up. Based? Who is this in response to? Oh, this is the same. Same roasty. Boneheads is all the money and propaganda in the world. Can't hide their evil. It always spills out. So true. <laughs> and then Square says, uh, I am a stinky boy. Okay, thanks for that, buddy. I love watching the music development channel. Sort of about why being racist is me. <laughs> Funny, funny. What is this? <coughs> All right. Yeah, let's do some gaming. Anybody want to do some uh, Modern Warfare? Modern Warfare check? Need to find the KKK guy in GTA. I'm going to find him in Modern Warfare. This is going to be a Modern Warfare stream. But... Should I end the stream and then start a new stream so that it's a separate video and people can download this one? Or should I just start playing Modern Warfare? Press 1 for start a completely new stream. Press 2 for just keep going and a much cleaner, smoother transition. No, I'm not playing Grand Theft Auto. I'm playing Modern Warfare. It's not, it's not an option. And the stream, start a new one. Okay, I'll do that then. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll start a step. I will start a separate stream. But, uh, yeah, just to conclude this. You know, look, the moral of the story is the media are bad people. They're bad people. You know, everything you just watched... That was not what was sold to me. They told me it was an episode of True Life that was supposed to help me. They came to my home, ate my fucking food, you know, took advantage of our hospitality, and then they go and repackage it into this two years later as part of a political hit job, as part of a character assassination. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, you should have expected that. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe we should have not trusted the media or whatever, but I don't think anybody has the imagination or expects they go to this level. I don't think most people are aware that they would go to that level. I certainly didn't expect it when I was 19 years old. And by the way, just because that's how they are doesn't make it okay. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, but you trusted MTV. Yeah, well, shouldn't be like that. It's still wrong. They're still bad. That's who we're dealing with. And it didn't work. I think people see right through it. It's all bullshit. If the timeline is uh, any evidence of that. But anyway... I'm going to end this stream. I think I'll be back momentarily. I'll play Modern Warfare for a little bit. Then I'm going to call it a night. Got to get my sleep schedule together because it got messed up again. 
But uh, I'll see you in like five minutes. I'll wait for this to be a process, a separate stream, and then I'll be back. I'll probably start the stream up again in like five minutes. So just stick around, sit tight. I'm just ending it so that it could be a separate one. You could download it, whatever, and just make it a little bit more clean. But uh, I will see you back here again uh, in just a few minutes. So.